What up, YouTube? You already know what it is. What it is, your boy Dylan. I'm back with another video. Why not say Dylan like that? Um, yeah, we back. I'm with Did T. They ain't hear what I said. No, they didn't hear what I said. Should I say it? Say it. We're back again. Twenty minutes later. But for y'all, might be a day later. We're happy. <laughs> but. Y'all, we reacting to the famous twins, how Greed got their father killed. Manhunt for second shooter. Turns out, these two twins, one had, like, I guess, some money. She had came up on some money. And boom, the other one ain't getting no money. Then boom, mom was like, you grinning for up. That man stole my social security card. And then, and then she kept trying to get that motherfucker back. But shout that had called the people and they was like, he ain't get the goddamn money. So why the fuck you want the shit back anyway? And shout that just like called the goddamn dad over there. And the goddamn shit had went down, like what the fuck? That shit crazy though. But we gonna get right into the goddamn video. Yeah, you called your pops around here like he was gonna step on some shit. Don't do that. Don't do that in this video. That's not this video. Let's get right into it though. <laughs> Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back Don't to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake. No rocking with y'all, y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on the That's famous I mean. twins, like... the shooting that took the life of their oh, stepfather. Don't call. Don't tell my sister to call my crazy ass brother, because here come my crazy ass. You feel me? You know I'm. Don't make this that video. And the revenge shooting that took the life of an innocent man. Greg MPD says this was a huge domestic dispute between ten twin sisters. Therese Stevenson, he shot my daddy in red. That way, on feet, on feet. I don't know. They go that way. Get it? Y'all be rapping all that hard shit. Get it back in blood. My sister's old police that. Get away, free me, oh, my mama, free me. My sister's so, my mama, so she made all this shit happen, fool. Oh, my mama, free me. Bitch, oh, your boyfriend just shot your daddy. You call him shit the police? Me. No, that's not her, that's not her boyfriend. The sister that's in the police car? Somebody, that, that's her boyfriend. Somebody say they so police. The one that, the one that, um. It's two twins, right? Yeah, the one that called the daddy over there, that's the one that's saying, that's saying, like, her daddy. Like Santa police shit, but then the one that boyfriend killed that one that fuck I'm confused as fuck now. Um, like who the fuck was in the back of the police car? Just the that. one that was, the one that's in the back of the police car is the one that had the boyfriend that killed the dad. Also, oh, I guess so. She ain't really fuck with them like that. No, cause she ain't, she ain't worried about the fact that her dad just got that pop. I mean, she what, bro? This was like video, bro. Okay. All right, we go. Right, June twenty ninth, two thousand and twenty one. Police received a report for a double shooting in the five hundred block of William Street in Mobile, Alabama, at ten thirty nine p.m. Upon arrival, police officers found a chaotic scene in which a bloody man was laying on the ground as a female frantically cried out. The man was identified as forty seven year old James Walters, and he died from his injuries. A 23-year-old woman was also found shot at the scene and transported to a nearby hospital in critical condition. A video was streamed to social media by a woman frantically crying who police identified as the stepdaughter of the man killed. She can be seen telling police a name, Henry Steven. See? Wait a minute. See? Who the fuck is this? He said stepdad? Yeah, who the fuck is this bitch? How the fuck is they twins? No, nah, they don't. Somebody nah. lying. Somebody They got to say, no, nah, they probably, that's, nah, nah, nah. Somebody, I, I understand, I understand. No, 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 no. It's, the, it's they dad, cause you know, like, it's probably like, he been there for a long time. Type shit. Famous shit type. twins. It's, no, I'm saying, but. Somebody it, lying. It's, no, it's they. <laughs> Step? It's they stepdad, but like, it's they daddy type shit. You feel me? Like, he been there for a long time for them type shit. Probably what they mean. Like, but, you know what I'm saying? Type shit, like. Get the fuck out of here. Man. Then, alleging he shot her dad and ran from the scene on foot. She go on to record her father's last moments as he tossed and turned, bleeding out on the street, and the video would quickly go viral. 
It turns out the man was the stepfather of the famous twins, who have amassed over a million followers on TikTok and millions of views on YouTube. Uh, I get the it. twins? I get it now. He was just a stepfather. He just came in. It was already twins. They got the same mom. Yeah. I just said that. Like, he just, he didn't say that. I said he just stepped in. No, he didn't say that. Ali and Sway <laughs> were born in Alabama and grew up between Mobile and Orlando, Florida. What came as a shock one time here. Ali was by his stepfather's side as he bled on the ground. Meanwhile, Sway was nobody. in the back of a police car on live saying, free me, accusing his sister of being police and not sharing half a million dollars with her, leading many to believe she may have played a part in her father's shooting. Mobile police described the incident as a domestic dispute between the two twins over an amount of money that allegedly came from Ali signing a deal with the local rapper. They called their mother and father over to the house, and police say that's when Sway's boyfriend, Henry LaVon Stevenson, also known as the rapper Pablo Cartel, got into it with their father. Both men were armed at the time, shots were fired inside of the home, and the father ran out of the house before collapsing in the street. And this wouldn't be the first domestic dispute between the family. Ali and Sway, whose real names are Ali and Consuela Jones, were arrested back in 2018 after a late. Hold on. I don't even miss it on the screen. Blood, you got blood on your lip. <laughs> and you look confused as fuck. I'm gonna just say that now. Don't get hot no more. Had to be fighting. Yeah, they were fighting though. They were definitely fighting. They thugging though. I ain't gonna lie. They thugging. I ain't gonna lie. You can tell they thugging. They like, living like that. Like, why the fuck am I even here? Like, like, bro, she I like, she like, like she like, we beat them hoes up. <laughs> it over with, it over with anyway. What did you she say? Like, she like, she like, bro. Bro, she like, she like why it. are we here? Like, who, is this? Tell me, tell me why I'm here, please. I fuck with these. I fuck with them. They got that one song from TikTok, you know what I'm talking about? I do not know what you're talking about. How that shit go? Um, something, something, if you talking shit. Oh, I forgot how that shit go, but it's hard as fuck. It's like it uh, can't be that hard. But that shit remember. hard as fuck. It cannot be hard. that hard if you don't remember. Bro, I know it if I play. Police arrived on scene, it's not that hard. finding that sway laying mouth. on the ground, bleeding from her nose and mouth, with minor swelling around her eyes. Allie, who was sitting next to Sway, told police their stepfather, James Walter, punched and kicked Sway after he attempted to remove Sway out of the house for throwing car keys at his face. And according to the police report, both of the twins tried to jump him, resulting in the twins being charged with domestic battery. Fast forward to 2021 and the stepfather is dead, but the situation wasn't over. Ali was alleging Sway's boyfriend shot their stepdad, and according to police, Ali's boyfriend allegedly sought revenge 22 minutes later. 28-year-old D'Angelo Merrill, more commonly known as No Shirt, a known associate of Mobile rapper Honeycomb Brazy, oh, went to hard. the Pathway Apartments on Florida Street looking for Henry Stevenson. According to the police, No Shirt kicked the- Skip that. At Ideal Image Med Spa, say goodbye to shaving and hello to silky smooth skin. Schedule the door into an apartment and opened fire. And while he was in the right apartment complex, he had kicked the wrong door, shooting and killing an innocent 74 year old man who was on kidney dialysis. At this time, Mobile Police have declared a manhunt for no shirt. Yeah, he is. So ruthless. Yeah, he is ain't good, but he is a fuck his dialysis. Nigga, you finna die. Fuck the dialysis part. I'm finna. I mean, fuck, it. Just died. fuck it, I kicked the wrong door. He might as well die. He done already seen it. I, I probably would have done He died assless, though. He was on the run on murder charges and considered armed and dangerous. While Mobile County records show Henry Stevenson was arrested the following day and charged with carrying a pistol without a permit. 
third degree domestic assault, marijuana, and paraphernalia charges. Since the shooting, Allen took the social money. media saying, no, it wasn't about no money, y'all. He saved me. My daddy gone and I'm getting death threats. I can't right now. Kill me instead. It's supposed to be me. Supposed to be an R.I.P. famous twin them. Not my daddy, man. Not only that, but Ali posted a video to YouTube explaining the scar on her face, giving a whole new twist to this already wild situation. In her video, she starts off by saying she won't use the people involved real names and only describes them as the dude and my cousin, leaving many to believe she's actually telling the story of her sister Sway and Sway's boyfriend. She described how she's been getting food stamps since high school and filed for unemployment. But Sway knew more about unemployment, so Allie gave Sway her social security number. Come to find out, Allie called the unemployment office and her unemployment checks were being sent to Sway's boyfriend, so she went to his apartment to confront him with her father and sister. Things turned physical, and Allie allegedly ended up getting hit with an AK-47 in the face that split her nose open, resulting in her needing five stitches, and the bloody pictures can be seen in her video. I'm hurt for the fact. What if the stick didn't hit me in my, hit me in my fucking nose? What if that whole... What if that hoe went out and I'm dead? She then alleged she threatened to put a hit on his yeah. head. And like I said, this is all being said by... There's ways you can avoid these type of situations. You can just stay the fuck out of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. I know what you're saying. There's ways to avoid this shit. Got shit. Way Y'all rap, bro. They're fucking rappers. Stick to rap. Just rap. You ain't got nothing else but rap. They too got no gangster for me. That shit. I ain't, I ain't got no gangster in me. They gangster, boy. Her and her own video that she posted to YouTube. She go on and say he has to die. Yeah, man, really be with the stick, like. Bruh, you bastard that. She made a call showing her face, and the you man asked that. for his exactly. address, saying they're gonna handle it. Look at my nose, bruh, like that shit. Why ain't bruh, bruh, stole my money, hit me with a stick, boom, boom, boom. So they like, give me your address, woo, woo, if you handle that shit. So I'm like, bet. Now her video is pretty much a 16 minute and 41 second subliminal confession to the events leading up to her stepfather's death. And the video was posted literally three days before the shooting. This video changes the narrative of what many believe took place, alleging the shooting was over scam money. Ali. Oh my. No, ain't that hot. But. I, 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 no. I ain't hear what I think I just heard. The video was posted three days before her daddy died? Oh, this was a hit. This was a damn show a hit. I don't know how she got in the jail doing shows right now. This was a hit. This was a fucking hit. No, I was just like. Do it. Wanted revenge on Sway's boyfriend, and according to Ali, Sway's boyfriend attempted to kill her, but his stepfather intervened, resulting in him being shot. But the police believe the shooting was actually self-defense, which is why the boyfriend, Henry Stevenson, was only charged with third degree domestic assault. Now there's so many different details in this case that are significant. And I can almost guarantee that YouTube video that she made is gonna be used in an investigation. It's been re-recorded, screen recorded, reposted on YouTube so many damn times. Even if she deletes it, it's still going to be there, and it's going to lead into an investigation not only for fraud, but most likely for conspiracy to commit murder because you're saying on YouTube, he has to die. I called <laughs> someone to go handle that. I gave them a fucking hit. <laughs> you guys that took off the map. You smart son of a girl. The address, they said they're going to do it. And then, you know, three days later, after you post the video, your stepfather gets shot and a man goes to the boyfriend's house attempting to kill him, but it results in the death of somebody else. 
which I believe could still fall back on you because if you send a hit and someone else gets killed, you're still responsible for sending the hit to begin with, right? But then again, they have to prove that you actually sent the hit. The situation she's talking about happened months ago and this more so recently happened. Now what's even more confusing about the case is neither one of the twins went to jail, but they're actually promoting shows and performances again together. And Ali, I guess, doesn't want a relationship with Sway outside of business. They're just going to keep it strictly business, which doesn't sound like a good idea because apparently this whole shit popped off due to money. But I guess they're not cool, even though they seem cool. They could just be doing it for the money because at the end of the day, it's they're a duo. It's the both of them that created what they have through TikTok, through social media. Oh, and man. at the end of the day, it's the relationship that they have and the things that have transpired that's tearing them apart and causing a whole lot of legal issues, even death. Now, I'm not sure exactly what details were left out for this to be a self-defense case for the alleged shooter that killed the stepfather. And currently, from what I can oh, see, No think? Shirt is still on the run. You said what I think? What you think? I'm just thinking that this shit is going to be over with. I thought they was going to be actually like... I thought they was like, ain't no lot like real shit. Cause like, I done seen them before in person one time. Real shit. And like. One time? Yeah, one time. That probably like three, four years ago. But like, I never seen them after that. And then I seen them doing music shit. I'm like, oh shit, they blowing up type shit, you feel me? Oh shit, like, and they from the O, but they from Alabama too. So I'm like, all right, shit, this shit cool, like, you know what I'm saying? But now, nigga, you just blew it. You blow it, bro. It's gonna be two, three. I give it two, three weeks. Forty people catch on to the fact that, that you made a video three days before your father, before your stepfather was killed. That this man, because this man hit you with a stick. I mean, I understand, but damn, you ain't you snitched on yourself. You snitched on yourself. Yeah. I bet jit ass on run. Man, it's over for y'all, boy. For the murder of the old man in the apartment complex and he might have got that information literally from Allie as she said she made a phone call telling people the information she wanted buddy to die the situation is crazy I highly doubt it is over I can likely see more arrests coming from this and she should honestly delete that fucking video and lawyer up that seems like the smartest thing to do, you know? But pay attention, because a lot of y'all are inspired and influenced video, by people on social media, believing <laughs> they're so fucking rich, <laughs> and the whole time people are on food stamps and filing for you, you fool. Now the twins <laughs> he got it on YouTube. I'm going to have it on YouTube. Next month I'm going to have it on YouTube. I would post that on here, regardless of the situation that happened, because, you know, it's for the benefit of the person and the person's family to go and be able to see their grave. I don't necessarily apply what happened and how it happened to the person's GoFundMe, but unfortunately that GoFundMe was taken down. Now I'll keep y'all updated if any more news comes out on this case. It's 1090J. I'm rocking with y'all and y'all rocking with me. Until next time. All right, 1090J, fuck with me. All right, y'all. That's the end of this fucking video, man. This shit is, is all the way for the twins, you know. I hope y'all get past this. I hope uh, um, I send due diligence My boy, to you and your family. He ain't doing nothing. Um, Shit no can make that money. You know what I'm saying? Do what y'all do, man. Keep rapping. Blue.